talks. Hmm, they have reportedly slowed down to a trickle, and one anonymous GM is sharing his thoughts as to why. He told Hoopswire, quote, everyone pretty much knows KD probably isn't winning any titles, not without Steph, which is why no one wants to mortgage the farm for him. Hmm, bold statement there. Shannon, what do you think? How much truth is there to that statement? Did you say that was uh, a GM? Did you say that was a GM or something? Uh, NBA exec? Hmm. He said, Kevin Durant. Everybody knows that Kevin Durant is more likely, is probably not as likely to win a title without one Wardell Stephen Curry, mm. who hosted Espy last night. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of truth. It's hard to argue, Skip. It's hard to argue. I mean, 12 seasons in the league without Steph Curry, mm. one finals appearance has not been 10 years. Three conference uh, uh, finals appearances, two of them in the loss. Now, Kevin Durant, now Brooklyn was Kevin's opportunity to say, I can do things without Stephen Curry, without uh, Clay Thompson, without Draymond Green. That was his opportunity. That's what he was going to do because one title in Brooklyn was going to mean more than two in Golden State. And what happened? One playoff series wins in three years in Brooklyn with a Kyrie Irving and a James Harden. Mm. Now, Skip Bayless would have you to believe uh, Tall Dale, the man wearing the size 17, he had gone to a, got a pedicure that day. They would go to the NBA Finals. That's true. Okay, well, tell me what happened last year. He had an opportunity. He got his toenails done, and he wore the right size shoe, 16 and a half instead of a 17. And then what happened? Got swept. Stephen Curry, on the other hand, ain't look back. Mm. So, I mean, what am I supposed to do with this, Skip? I mean, what am I supposed to, like, uh... Nah, 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 I don't think. There's a reason why when Kevin Durant requested a trade, name the teams that he put on the top of the list. Mm. Teams are already there. One team was in the Western Conference Finals. One team was in the Eastern Conference Finals. The other team two years ago was in the NBA Finals. The other team three years ago. Kevin Durant don't want to do that grind. Mm. See, there is a grind when you put a team together and you have to grow. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Durant won the Arizona team. See, it's already made for you. You already got the flavors. Whatever flavor you want, it's already the can. You just pour it in the thing. Kevin Durant don't want to mix the tea. Mm -hmm. He don't want the tea bag. He don't want to warm it up. He don't want to put the sugar in it. He don't want to do none of that. He want it already made. Skip, damn. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, don't you just like, I get it. You can sit at home, skip, get on your computer and get stuff from Amazon and get fashion over. But don't sometimes you just want to go to the mall and just feel like, ooh, like, look at this. Baby, you like this bathing suit? I think I look good at the mall D's with this. Don't you just want to do that? Kevin and Rand don't want to do that. Mm. He want to sit at home and shop, make it easy. But they ain't making it easy for him. Mm. Ooh, that hurt. Did it hurt? It wasn't, somebody else been saying, that guy must be on the internet, too. Because mm. he's been saying what I've been saying for the longest time. Mm. <laughs> mm. So whoever this anonymous they know whoever, is, they know whoever. whoever he is, he's probably on the hot seat wherever now he, he is. Now he's on the hot office, seat. And he should be fired for this quote alone. Uh, well, 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 he should be fired. Is Kevin Durant not on the he's hot seat? lucky his name was not attached or he would be fired. Is Kevin Durant on the hot seat? No, he's not. Why he not? All Kevin Durant did a year ago... Was what? ...was put a team on his back, and even you came out here, and the quote, unquote, from Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp was, it's one on five. It's... Kevin bleeping Durant against five Milwaukee Bucks led by Giannis and Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton. It was one on five. That was your quote. That's what you acknowledged. And he scored 49 in a game five masterpiece. And he scored 48 in a, a game seven home masterpiece that ended with a pedicured toenail on the line. Nah, man, just, just a toenail on the line, or we're having a completely different conversation. He made one of the great playoff clutch shots of all time, and unfortunately, it counted only two instead of three. If it had counted three, we'd be having a whole different conversation right now because they would have gone on to beat Phoenix for the championship no, two wouldn't. years. Yes, they would have. It's Kevin bleeping Durant. And I hold in my hand a quote 
that that you not only acknowledged, but you embraced a few days back from the great Jerry West. And you said, when Jerry West speaks, I listen. Yes. Did you not say that? I said that. And he said, I happen to, to know Kevin very well from when we were in Golden State together. He's one of the nicest people that you ever want to be around. Serious basketball player, does not neglect his craft. People misread him, who he is as a person. This is one of the greatest players we've ever seen. As far as his value on the open market, Jerry West concluded, you cannot give enough to get a guy like him. Clearly, That's what he said, cannot give enough. Clearly, there are teams that believe that you can give too much for a guy that has not won anything outside of Wardell Stephen Curry. Mm. Which brings us back to Steph Curry. You see it last night? Making joke, too. He, he made a couple of jokes, but he left all the, the good jokes, the roast jokes. He let Kevin Hart do it for him, and then he let Peyton do it for him. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that little skit that <laughs> did. they did, but, but that's that they were doing He was having a conversation via phone and Zoom with right. those two, and they were making all the good jokes, yes. okay? The funny jokes. Yes. Because, I mean, you, because Steph back, said, I want to stay above the you, fray. There you I, see, I don't you, want to get involved yes, in this. I don't yes. want to take shots. He took a little shot at LeBron right. to open, but that was just a little one. Right. Okay. What, what I don't understand is that Steph is so beloved that people give him passes and they, they so neglect to see what he hasn't done in the postseason that, that if, if this GM had actually watched the tape of all these games that he's, he's come up even shorter than he is in, that GM wouldn't say this because, again, obviously it took Kevin going to Golden State to save Steph because – Saved himself, too, though. No, he, he yeah, didn't he did save himself. He put his own oxygen mask on. Okay. He put his mask on first because he did it. All right, but he'd had two finals before that in 2015. I dare anybody, go back and look. I'm not making this up. I'm not exaggerating. Look at games one, two, and three of Steph's first ever finals against LeBron James, who was minus Kevin Love, and all of a sudden, over time of game one, he was minus Kyrie. And what did Steph do in games one, two, and three Two of those at home, he put Golden State in a huge hole because he could not make three-point shots. He shot 32% from three in those first three. Mm -hmm. 11 of 34. He shot 39%. And then what did he do over the next three? Okay. Well, the point was he had 16 turnovers in the first three games. That's yikes. That that's more than five a game. Yes. And all of a sudden they're down two games to one with game four in the King's Palace in Cleveland, Ohio. And what happened? Steve Kerr put Iggy in the lineup and yep. Iggy became the MVP. It right. wasn't Steph who got them home in that series. It was Andre Iguodala. What? You know what? Okay, let's MVP. Let's... Iggy won the MVP. I believe Steph should have won the MVP because, like you said, although he wasn't at his best considering he was the MVP of the regular season in the first three games, you look at the next three games, he was sensational. Mm. Now, we keep saying what Steph did, was doing. What did Kevin Durant did in the finals? Kevin Durant can't even get back to the finals. Okay, but all I know is then it came time for Steph to get them home with a three games to one lead in 2016, yeah. the very next year. Three to one up with two of the three at home. Mm -hmm. And in the fourth quarter of those three games, he makes three total threes. He was three of 12 from three in those fourth quarters. I'm not making it up. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, you're I'm not. I'm spitting facts. You're spitting facts. He was six of 20 from the floor in those three fourth quarters. It's just horrendously bad for a two-time MVP who is also a unanimous MVP. I, you know what, Skip? Are you you spitting them facts. Well, let me spit some facts back at you. In the series before that, which was the Western Conference Finals, I don't care the guy, oh, you don't know, Skip, you got to care. You can't say you don't care this, that Steph... This was about Steph. Okay, no, no, this is about and you can't win a championship without Steph. But he, well, who is he talking about? He's talking about Kevin Durant. So let's talk about Kevin Durant under some similar situations. A 3-1 lead with a chance to get it home and go face LeBron in the 2015 Stuck final. Stuck with <sighs> Russell Westbrook. Who did you see last year? You saw him exposed. Westbrook got no. exposed. It's the same guy who was playing with Kevin. It's why Kevin left. He said, I can't win a championship with that guy as my primary decision maker. And you saw it last year. But, right before your very eyes, but, night after night, you can't win with Russell but I'm just, Westbrook. But I'm just saying, well, well, how was he able to get a lead with a three-one lead with Russ if you can't win with him? He's Kevin Bleeping Durant, yeah, exactly, best player on the planet. And without Steph Curry, how he looking? Without Steph and Wardell, Steph and Curry, how is he looking? Okay, so here's what happened in 2016 to Steph. In the fourth quarter of Game Seven at home, he shot one of six from the floor. 
and one of five from three. And he didn't score a point in the last 657 of a game that was teeter tottering back and yeah. forth between the two teams. And then I'll remind you also that in 2019, he missed a walk off shot that was a good look to extend it to seven Skill. games in Toronto. He just, he missed it. He, he didn't yeah. have a good series. And then we get to this last one, and everybody says, he finally broke 31, he six finally and five. got his MVP. 31, six and five. I dare anybody to put the tape back in of game one of this past finals, 2022 20, finals six. against the Boston Celtics. I dare you to go look at what happened in game one because Steph is up 12 points going to the fourth quarter of game one right. at home. And he does not score a point over the last 605 of that game. And they crumbled and lost it. Did they Are lose the kidding? finals? Well, and then game three at Boston, it's a four-point Boston lead in the fourth quarter, and Steph scores two total points with three turnovers early in the fourth quarter, and they crumble and lose that game. And, and he, then talk he about game four. In the last what about game four? Well, How do you lose game he four? He has moments, and then he wins. Uh, moments? But, but in the end, you would agree with me, that finals was more about what Boston couldn't do because Boston beat Boston more than Golden All State I know, beat Boston. All I know. It was about Boston turnovers. Is the guy that we're talking about and what this general manager said is that Boston team took apart 